Joan Christian Fabricius, Joan Christian Fabricius, the 7th of January 1745, the 3rd of March 1808, was a Danish zoologist, specializing in insecta, which at that time included all arthropods, insects, arachnids, crustaceans and others. He was a student of Carl Linnaeus, and is considered one of the most important entomologists of the 18th century, having named nearly 10,000 species of animals, and established the basis for the modern insect classification. Joan Christian Fabricius was born on the 7th of January 1745 at Tunder in the Duchy of Schleswig, where his father was a doctor. He studied at the gymnasium at Altona and entered the University of Copenhagen in 1762. Later the same year he traveled together with his friend and relative Joan Zoig to Uppsala, where he studied under Carl Linnaeus for two years. On his return, he started work on his Sist Entomology, which was finally published in 1775. Throughout this time, he remained dependent on subsidies from his father who worked as a consultant at Frederick's Hospital. Fabricius was appointed a professor in Copenhagen in 1770, and in 1775 or 1776, the University of Kiel appointed Fabricius Professor of Natural History and Economics, promising that they would build a natural history museum and a botanical garden. Although he tried to resign three times, on one occasion only being prevented by an appeal from his students to the Danish king and Duke of Schleswig, Christian VII, Fabricius held the position at Kiel for the rest of his life. During his time in Kiel, Fabricius repeatedly travelled to London in the summer to study the collections of British collectors, such as Joseph Banks and Drew Drury. Towards the end of his career, Fabricius spent much of his time living in Paris, where he frequently met with naturalists such as Georges Cuvier and Pierre-André Lartre. He was also interested into the events of the French Revolution. On hearing of the British attack on Copenhagen in 1807, Fabricius returned to Kiel, damaging his already fragile health. He died on 3 March 1808, at the age of 63. His daughter died in an accident in Paris, but he was survived by two sons, who both studied medicine. Evolution The evolutionary ideas of Fabricius are not well known. He believed that man originated from the great apes and that new species could be formed by the hybridization of existing species. He also has been called the father of Lamarckism because of his belief that new species could form from morphological adaptation. Fabricius wrote about the influence of environment on development of species and selection phenomena, females preferring the strongest males. Works. Fabricius is considered one of the greatest entomologists of the 18th century. He was a greater observer of insects than his more botanically minded mentor, Carl Linnaeus. Fabricius named 9,776 species of insects, compared to Linnaeus' tally of around 3,000. He identified many species of Tenebrionidae from the Egyptian Sinai on the basis of other entomologists' collections. Fabricius added two distinct areas to the classification system. He considers both artificial and natural characteristics. Artificial characteristics allow for the determination of a species, and natural ones allow for the relationship to other genera and varieties. In contrast to Linnaeus' classification of the insects, which was based primarily on the number of wings, and their form, Fabricius used the form of the mouthparts to discriminate the orders, which he termed classes. He stated those whose nourishment and biology are the same, must then belong to the same genus. Fabricius' system remains the basis of insect classification today, although the names he proposed are not. For instance, his name for the order containing the beetles was Elitherata, rather than the modern Coleoptera, and he used Pisata for Hymenoptera. His term Glossata is still in use but for a slightly smaller group among the Lepidoptera, rather than the whole order. Fabricius also foresaw that the male genitalia would provide useful characters for systematics, but could not apply that insight himself. Fabricius was the first to divide the Staphylinidae, row of beetles, 
which Linnaeus had considered a single genus that he called Staphylinus, establishing in 1775 the genus Pederes. He also described 77 species of Staphylinidae. His major works on systematic entomology were, Systematic Entomology, 1775, General Insectorum, 1776, Species Insectorum, 1781, Full Title, Species Insectorum, Exhibit Zorum Differentius Specificus, Synonyma Octorum, Locke Natalia, Metamorphosis in, Adjectis Observation Ibus, Description Ibus, Mantiso Insectorum, 1787, Entomologia Systematica Imendae to A Torcta, 1792 to 1799, Systema Torum, 1801, Systema Rhinotorum, 1803, Systema Bizatorum, 1804, Systema Antliatorum, 1805, Systema Glossatorum, 1807. Many of his works can be found in digital libraries, Biodiversity Heritage Library, 24 items, Google Books, 24 items, Gallica, 12 items, Harthy Trust, 1 item, Fabricius collections are shared between the Natural History Museum, London, the Museum National d'Histoire Naturelle, Paris, the Hope Department of Entomology, Oxford, the Huntrian Museum and Art Gallery, Glasgow, the Zoological Museum in Kiel, and the Staten's Natter Historisk Museum, Copenhagen. Fabricius also wrote a few works on economics, although these are much less important than his zoological works. They include Bijindels' Grundy Nido Economisk Videnskaber, 1773, Polizis Riffen, 1786 1790, and von der Volksvermirung, Ensnerheit in Denmark, 1781.